everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another project for my Mother's Day series 2018. And today is Wednesday, and on a Wednesday I do a hobby base monthly kit tutorial. So I wanted to combine the two together. So this, um, today I'm gonna to be using project product from both the January and the February kits. I'm coming to the end of both of them, so I've kind of just shown what you can do with all the scraps and bits left over and still create really nice projects but I also wanted them to have a Mother's Day theme as well. So this is what I've done today. Now, some of you might recognize this who have followed me right from the start, as I done this for Mother's Day last year, and it was my Kit Kat treat holder. So I also done a Tunnix Tea Cake re Tunnix Tea Cake Reinforced Box. Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> um, and uh, again, Tunnix Tea Cakes, for those of you in the UK, are just, well, I think they are just amazing. They're, uh, you know, kind of a, a bit of a British institution. There's a box here. They were established in 1890. They're just marshmallow domes with chocolate and like a biscuit base. Anyway, enough of the chocolate. I've eaten quite a few of them. But I'd done a reinforced box full of them with four of them last year for Mother's Day. But I thought as part of my kind of um, every month I wanted to remake something as well from last year. So I'm kind of throwing everything all in in today's tutorial. Um, I wanted to do just a little case, a holder for one single Tunnix tea cake. So that's what I've come up with here. So you can just see it on the side there. It's attached with a little glue dot. And this is using um, the uh, mirrored card, the mirror card from the January box and one sheet of six by six paper that I had left over. And then I've heat embossed a sentiment which is from the February kit. And I've used this glitter to cover this little um, kind of latch. And, um, and then I've used some magnets. Now magnets don't come in the kits, but you could easily use a glue dot. A little glue dot will, you know, stick that together perfectly. And then this is what it is. So it's this lovely case, which you can see there. There's no cutting involved. As I said in the tutorial last year, all you have to do is cut the cardstock to the size, but then everything else is just down to some clever, like an origami fold. And it just forms this little case and then it closes down nicely with a magnetic. Um, closure. So that's the one with mainly the January products left over. So my January stuff is now gone. That's it. Today I am going to be using some more of the kind of um, gadgety bits that came in the February kit. So I'm using the embossing folder um, and the inks and things like that. More of like the, the hardware I suppose. So um, that is the theme, so the colour I'm doing here. So this is with a piece of black card that was left in the kit. And then this is, I'm just using some white scrap card and I've created this lovely, my own kind of paper using the embossing folder. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, that's the embossing folder that came with this month's kit because it was a Valentine's theme. So I just wanted to show you how you can, you know, change things so they work for all occasions. And Valentine's has got a lot of lovely sentiments that are great for Mother's Day as well. So. Um, that's the embossing folder there with all the hearts on. Um, also what I've done is when I embossed this piece here, I was playing around, I embossed it and then I went and just coloured all of the hearts with like rainbow colours with some pencils over the top. So again, it's just another nice way to really kind of, you know, bring that embossing, embossed piece of card to life. So you can see there, it's all nicely raised, those little hearts, and I just thought that looked really nice. And you could just mat that now onto a card, put a sentiment over the top and you've got a really nice greeting card. So. Again, lots and lots of ways to use these bits and pieces. So let me just get rid of these bits and go through the measurements. So the cardstock that came um, in this month's one, this black piece, um, was um, default A5 size. So I just wanted to cut it down slightly. So it's gonna be cut down so it's four and three quarters along this way. And then just keep it at the length it was, which is eight and a quarter, okay? Anybody that doesn't have the kit, you just follow these sizes with any cards that you have. And then you need two pieces of um, white card, but what I'll do is I'll do the embossing first and then you cut them down, but you'll cut them down to two and a half by two and three quarters. Tiny little piece here, which I used from the piece I cut off from the, the width here, I then used for this little piece, which is two by, um, I thought it was half. Yeah, two half an inch would be fine. Um, and then, a little piece for the sentiment again, which we'll go through um, when we get to it. So let me just get all of this stuff out of the way so it doesn't confuse us. So first of all, so you've got this piece of black cardstock. Obviously you can use other any other colors if you're 
um, you don't have this piece left, you, you may well have used it. So you want to score along that four and three quarter inch side, you're going to score at one inch and then at three and three quarters of an inch. Then rotate it along the long side and you're going to score at three inches and five and a quarter of an inch. And that's the effect that you want to have. Okay, just get rid of the scoreboard. Okay, and then grab a ruler. And because we these are this is a one inch, these are both one inch sections. What you want to do is pop it on the long side. You've got the middle square here. I'm just coming up to this corner there, you can see it in the score lines. And you just want to mark, I'm just using, I'm just going to create a little notch mark. Um, it'll be on the outer part here at one inch. So I'm just putting a little marker there up from that score line just up one inch. And again outside line here one and then again this one one and again one. Okay so just on the outer part from those you've got those two score lines there just one inch one inch one inch one inch. Okay you can probably just see there these tiny little markers that I've just put in. And just make them out there, there's one there. Okay, that's one inch up from that score line. Then once you've done that, you want to score from that outer little marker where you've put it, you want to score down to that corner. So we'll just bring that up, you can see there. So from that one inch little notch, I then scored in to this kind of cross here. Okay, so again, go around to that next one, and you just want to score right in there. And again, this one, like so. And this one here. Okay, so that is now what you should have. Okay, just catching the light there. So now we can go along and just burnish all of our score lines. So I always like to use everything I get, whether I buy a magazine subscription, whether I get this kit, whether I get a paper pack. I really, I just, I kind of get really angry with myself if I don't use it all. I mean, we pay good money for our craft supplies. Unlike my mum who just sits and looks at hers and never uses it, I have to use mine. So I'm glad to be getting all of this used. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. So now what we've done, where we've got those score lines, it's folded in, you may not be able to see them because we've done those ones manually without using the scoreboard, but it's okay because what you want to do is fold one piece over like so. So bring it over, okay? And where you have that triangle, if you just put your finger, okay, on, I'm just trying to do it, yeah, but on this side here, put your finger down as close as you can to where that score line is and just bring it up. And can you see there, it's just starting to bend on that score line, see there? And that's basically what we want to do. So as that comes up now, that's creating that corner, just like these ones here. Okay, now if it's slightly off, which when this one comes up, it's ever so slightly out, just pull it across a little bit before you burnish it properly until you get the side lined up there. And then you can just burnish the inside. Okay, so now when that comes up, can you see I've got a nice join like so. Again with the end down here, so we just folded it up, put in my finger and then as that comes up, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way, even I'm getting myself all cat handed here, yeah, like so again. Once you started it off it would just go and then that comes up. So just where the score line is, just bring it up like so. It just joins up perfectly. Just pop it on its side and just burnish it a little bit more. And then with this side, do the same. You're just bringing it up. You're basically holding that end bit down and bringing up this middle bit here. So again, just make sure that, that all sits nicely. So now, because so we're going to stick all this down in a minute, when it comes together, like so, you have this case. So the, the process is really, really quick. It's just getting that folding done. So I'm just going to grab some tacky glue and all you want to do is just put some glue on the inside of the card just up to where that score line is that you've done. You don't want to go too close to it because you don't want the glue kind of coming out over the edge because it then will stick that little triangle here. 
okay and you don't want that to happen so then just fold the whole thing over and again everything over that side and just hold it down there until that's kind of all stuck okay, down. Okay so once that's taken I'm just using my bone tool here and just making sure that glue's all spread out and like I said you don't want it going and sticking this this bit of the triangle down. This has got to stay uh, you know um, clear like it is. So just go around there I'm just spreading out that glue like so. so. Now when you bring it up it will just naturally move that piece in the middle and create that case. Okay. So now we can pop that to one side and just kind of let that set a little bit more. And I just want to show you how you do this um, so embossing. In so in this month's kit was the Memento Rosebud. So again, things like this, like I said, they just last for months and months and months. So you get a lot more out of it than just, you know, creating for the month that you get it. So open this one up and what you will have, some embossing folders may be other way around, but the side where the image is raised, so here these hearts are all raised, is the side, side that I don't want to ink. You want to ink the side which is the negative side, so it's the background is all raised and the hearts are actually little um, indents, are like, um, again I'm probably saying all the wrong wording for it because it's not something I've done on a tutorial before. I've, I've shown other people how to do it but I haven't done it on a tutorial um, for YouTube. So. The side, like I said, where the image is raised is the side you don't want to ink. So generally it's this, the top piece that comes down. So then what I'm doing with my ink is just brushing it across the whole piece. You don't have to brush it if you don't want that effect, you can just dab it all over. I'm just brushing mine all across it until I'm happy that it's all covered. If any of it has gone on to the other side, I'm just going to rub my finger just over that bit there. Okay, and then what I can do is lay my card down on this piece here and then just carefully, because once you've dropped it down that is it, and make sure you keep that really sandwiched together so it doesn't move at all. Then you'll need to set your embossing folder, um, um, your Big Shot, whatever it is you're using, um, so that it can take the embossing folders and I'm just going to run this through the machine. Okay, so that's now gone through the machine and now when we lift this one up carefully, I just take that out. All the ink has come off that, image, that top plate and it is giving me this effect. So it's all embossed as normal, but the, the white hearts are still raised and they're clear of colour. And then all that pink pigment, pigment is on the bottom. Again, if I come really close, you can see the brush effect there from where I was um, swiping the ink pad down the embossing folder. So already that's again, like I said, that's a really nice background now to just put straight onto a card um, with a nice sentiment. So it's just a clever way to get more out of your embossing folders. So now you need to cut that piece down. So this is why don't cut the pieces before, cut them after, because I said that they needed to be two and a half um, by two and three quarters. So I'm just gonna cut another one out of this one, because um, I was playing around to start with. So you can get two, um, yeah, two out of this piece that I've done. So I'm just gonna get that one cut. There you go, two little treat holders. I think they are really adorable, I love those. Um, as I said, this is all using kit um, product from the um, monthly hobby base kits. If you are interested in um, finding out more about that and subscribing, then I will share all the links um, below for you. Um, otherwise, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you'll get to see the rest of my Mother's Day series and future tutorials. Thanks for watching, bye.